All right, good morning everybody. Day three, just left uh, Gooch Mountain Shelter. Nice peaceful night, it was packed. But uh, I'm on trail, probably just gonna go to Lance Creek today. It's eight and a half, nine miles. That'll just kind of post up there, be an easier day, let my body rest. And uh, tomorrow tackle Blood Mountain and get into Neil's Gap, get my resupply, that kind of stuff. But uh, another beautiful day out, sun's up. And uh, I don't know, it's gonna be a good day. See you on the trail. All right, everybody, we made it to Woody Gap. We're a little over four miles in for the day. Uh, hiking with some friends. And uh, I don't know, it's been a beautiful day out today. I mean, it's a little windy down here in the Gap, but other than that, I'm trying to get out of the wind. <laughs> there we go. But a uh, beautiful day today, sun shining, it's getting warm out. Uh, the views have just been nonstop. So uh, we're taking a little break here. And I think we've got about another four to go and we'll be at Lance Creek. It'll be an early day. But uh, I don't know, we deserve it. We've been busting our butts the last couple days. So uh, get there and set up and just enjoy the day. So, I don't know, I'll try to get some uh, good views for you guys on the way out. Well, all right, everybody. Um, it's been kind of a slow day. We busted, but um, I say we, today I hiked with two people that have kind of been showing up the same days, uh, same times at the shelters, uh, Preston and Becca. So uh, we kind of took off the same time this morning and said, hey, you wanna hike together? So we did. And it was cool hiking with them and meeting them, getting to know them. And uh, they're quite a bit younger than me and they were kicking my butt, but uh, it's been a great day. We. We're really in a hurry to get to Lance Creek. That's where we decided to go so we didn't have to uh, be irresponsible and camp in the uh, bear area where you have to have a bear canister only. So uh, we knew that how many people was at Gooch Gap, there would be a lot of people here. And uh, we were the first ones here. We kicked it in gear and got here quick. Uh, we were here by like quarter till one. So uh, it's been a long day just sitting around camp and just watching everybody else roll in and um, just getting to know some people. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, it's been a great day in that aspect. Uh, I will say thoughts of the day is, I know uh, a lot of you watching us probably like, oh man, I could never take off the time to, um, you know, through hike the AT and I can't either. But uh, if you can ever get away for a week and just do what I'm doing and just do a good section hike and just meet some of these great people out here on the trail. It's been a blast for me, just getting to know them, hearing their stories and hearing their amb ambitions of what they want to do after the trail and that. So uh, I'd highly recommend it if you get the chance to get out here and uh, meet anybody. All right, where was I? So somebody walked by, I'm sitting right off the trail here and uh, they don't think I'm too much of a psychopath as they walked by. But um, like I was saying, if you get a chance, even just for a couple days or a week to come out and experience this and you're a hiker, you'll love it um, take the opportunity it's it's a very challenging trail um, but there's so many rewards today we come over preachers rock ram rock and down like i said to lance creek uh, tomorrow we have a killer climb we're looking at far out and the first five miles is uphill we have like a 1600 foot elevation game all the way up to top of blood mountain so uh I think I made the right choice. I know yesterday I was thinking about maybe going all the way. Um, I think I could have done it. It was another six and a half miles. And like I said, I got here right before one o'clock. But uh, after nine miles getting here, another six and a half, five up being uphill. Nah, I think I made the right choice. I've had a great day. And uh, we'll get to Neil Gap tomorrow. We're all planning, getting there about lunch and having some pizza. I've got a uh, resupply box to pick up and uh, get some more food and I may buy a couple other items because I packed four days of food with me and knowing that it would get me three and a half days to get there or take me three and a half days to get there. So uh, knowing I got a little extra food, I've been hungry. People say they don't get their hiker hunger for a week or two, uh, good for you, but I've been starving, man. These hills and this terrain just takes it out of you. But uh, looking forward to day four, day three has been a blast. Day two, day one, it's all been great. Um, the weather, I couldn't ask for better weather. I think I do have on Thursday storms coming in, so that might be interesting. It's supposed to rain off and on all day. And uh, 
I'm not like a lot of the through hikers out here. They can say, forget this, hop off trail, go to hostel for a day. I still have to be at the uh, Dick's Creek Gap for my shuttle to pick me up at 1045 on Saturday. So I'm probably going to have to hike in the rain. Um, but yeah, like I said, you guys, if, if you're ever thinking, oh, I could never do the AT, come out for a weekend section hike. It, it's been great. Um, I'll try to get you guys maybe a walkthrough or something of the campgrounds um, here at Lance Creek. There's limited camping here, so that's why we are hightailing it to uh, to make sure we get spots. Also, a side note, for a lot of people say this is not a, it's a reliable source of water, but it's not a good place of water. I've heard everything from uh, nearby farms having runoff, and I've also heard that it's right down in between two big valleys, so people aren't going very far away from the water source to uh, use the restroom, and that could run off in there too. I don't know. We just camped up. There was a a stream that we got water is right at a mile from here, so we camped up. I brought four liters of water with me, and I haven't even used two yet, but I have plenty for coffee and food in the morning. But I'll try to get a shot through the campground and show you guys, as long as everybody doesn't mind. There's, like I said, there's about a dozen of us here, and I really don't like putting this camera in everybody's face. They may not want to be on YouTube or whatever, but uh, if I can get a shot, I will for you guys. Um, don't know if I'll record any more tonight or not. It just depends. I'm just trying to feel out everybody. But if not, I'll see you guys in the morning on day four.